Today, you are going to see me do something that not a lot of creators are willing to do. I will admit that I was wrong. Let's talk about it. Roll it. Hello everyone, welcome in, welcome back to the Caustic Fan, I am Corey Caustic and this is Terrible Towel Talk. Let's talk about those Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's talk about them Steelers. What a performance last night. So I teased by saying I was going to admit that I was wrong and boy was I wrong about Russell Wilson. I was under the impression that he was washed. I was under the impression that he was just done and that he was just being there as a mentor to Justin Fields. And while he is there to also mentor Justin Fields, Justin Fields, who performed very well, I assumed that Justin would just remain the starter because he started the season four and two. That's pretty good. In the NFL, if you're winning two out of every three games, you're in pretty good shape. But let's not mince words. The Steelers' offense came alive in that game. So let's go over the scoring real fast. First quarter, Chris Boswell gets the scoring started with a 46-yard field goal with 11.33 left in the first quarter. Uh, the Jets would go on to get a... Touchdown from Brees Hall, 13-yard run, 7-3. After that, the Steelers would respond with another field goal, and it's 7-6. At this point, I'm thinking, boy, here comes another field goal game. We're going to just kick our way to victory, aren't we? Well, then you got the Jets scoring another touchdown, and then comes one of the worst leverage calls I've ever seen called against the Steelers, which results in the Jets going for two and converting and making it 15-6. to six. It's a two-score game. Now I'm thinking, man, here it's all going to hell. And mind you, up until this point, Russell Wilson looked extremely pedestrian. I think he was two of eight, I think, throwing the ball at this point in the game for maybe like nine yards passing. It wasn't looking good. But then right before halftime, Russell Wilson gets a pass to George Pickens. Touchdown, extra point good, 15-3 at half. I'm feeling a lot better. Third quarter, Chris Boswell gives us the lead with a 21-yard field goal, 16-15. And then Beanie Bishop comes and saves the day, intercepting a pass that deflected off of Garrett Wilson, running it back to the one. Russell Wilson runs it in touchdown. Steelers are up 8, 23-15. Fourth quarter. Russell Wilson throws to Van Jefferson, touchdown, 30-15. to And then with 26 seconds left, Najee Harris breaks through the Jets' defense for a 10-yard touchdown run, and that wound up being your final score, 37-15. to When was the last time the Steelers scored 37 points? I'm serious, because... Under Matt Canada, we had an anemic offense. And Ben Roethlisberger, in his final season, wound up winning games in spite of that garbage offensive coordinator. This is the most dynamic the Steelers have looked since Big Ben. They really opened up the playbook for Russell Wilson. I'm putting my hands up here. Wilson was has in one game immediately dispelled all all thoughts and notions of Justin Fields 
getting back on the field uh, unless there's an injury to Russell Wilson. Dispelled any and all thoughts of it. I like Justin Fields from his time at Ohio State. I like Justin Fields in the short time we had him starting here in Pittsburgh. But let's not mince words. Russell Wilson looked really good. When he got it going, it was going. So let's get into the numbers. Russell Wilson uh, passed 16 of 29. A lot of those incompletions came in the first and second quarter when we weren't moving the ball. 16 of 29 for 264 yards, two touchdowns, and and through the air and one on the ground. Najee Harris, 21 carries, 102 yards, one touchdown. George Pickens led the team with five receptions for 111 yards. He was outstanding last night and one touchdown. Now, this was an outstanding game for the Steelers. We had 400 yards of offense. 409 to be exact. We won the turnover battle 2 to 0. Time of possession 32 minutes and 9 seconds for the Steelers, 27 minutes and 51 seconds for the Jets. Now, first off, love it. I hate Aaron Rodgers. I can't stand him and watching him lose Ooh, that's good. That's good, good stuff for me. I'm a big fan of watching Aaron Rodgers lose. Um, but the Steelers were dynamic. It opened up the pass, having that threat, because you know the Steelers are good at running. But then you go and you open up the passing game as well. The play action looked pretty good. The passing, the deep passes looked pretty good. This is the best we've looked since since Big Ben. Full stop. Full stop. God, what a performance! And you know, turning a real poor first half where we got two field goals for our efforts. For most of the first half, we had six points. It wasn't until the very end that we decided to wake up and be like, oh, there's a football game to be played. Maybe I should do that. It wasn't until the second half that we really came alive. So despite playing pretty nonchalant football in the first half, we won by 22 points. This was a good win for the Steelers. This was good. I'm very pleased right now. And this puts us in a position. Now, granted, as of right now, the Baltimore Ravens have not played. Um, They play at Tampa Bay tonight. So we'll see how that goes. But it puts them in first place in the division, temporarily at least. I don't know how the Ravens game is going to go. Um, And it puts you at 5-2 heading into the game against the New York Giants which is a Monday night game at home. So, you know, we're we're in a very good spot. Very good spot heading into our bye cuz we have a fucking gauntlet coming up. We have the Commanders on the road heading out of the bye week and then it's a division showdown after a division showdown after a division showdown. I am fairly certain it's Baltimore, Cincinnati, Cleveland. Bang, bang, bang. So if we can stack up wins for ourselves and put ourselves in a good position now, heading into our first division games this season, why we haven't played a division game, not sure why it was scheduled like that. Would have liked to have had those mixed in already. But if we can keep putting ourselves in these good positions... And if Russell Wilson keeps playing like that, like if we keep getting second half Russell from last night, we might go to the Super Bowl. And that's not even hyperbole. They were good in the second half. They looked dangerous. 
I had a great time watching the Steelers last night. I had a great time. Aside from the officiating, the officiating was horrid last night. But, you know, ref ball aside... I am very happy with with the Steelers right now. And it's been years since I've been definitively happy about this team. Like, we, we had two blowout wins in a row. <laughs> it's It's been so long. Like, it's been so long since we've, we've been this this good. But that's beside the point. So... What did you guys think? Are you as thrilled as I am right now? Because I'm pretty happy at the moment. And if we can continue this level of form, then we we are absolutely a Super Bowl contender with our defense. So, do you think I'm being... Uh, do you think I'm being over the top or do you think I, I'm spot on with this? Let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. You can search Corey Caustic, find my cartoon face. And uh, I will see you all next week. No, you'll see me on Wednesday after Celtic plays Atlanta in the Champions League. Um, you will see me on Sunday. You'll see me on Saturday. Buckeyes play. <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. But yeah, Celtic at Atlanta Champions League action for Wednesday. Saturday, Ohio State and Nebraska. Sunday, Celtic will play again. And then Mon you won't see me until Tuesday because the Steelers play on Monday night. And I work in the morning. So comment below. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Go Steelers. I'll see you next time. Later. How can I feel free?